welcome back to Forza Horizon 4 for another day in the lovely United Kingdom. And today we are checking out not one, but two of the Hot Wheels cars for the Hot Wheels car pack. The Studebaker 500 plus horsepower big V8. This is the Franken car, a super cool vehicle. We've also got this though, a pickup truck on steroids with the engine taken out of the front and chucked into the rear. We've got both of these vehicles to check out today. Let's start it off with this thing, the Chevy Love. Since we're doing two vehicles today, here's how this is gonna work. We're gonna jump into the vehicle bone stock, try it out for a short little while, and then come back and try our hand at building the best version of this car that we can. Unlike the other videos that I've made on the other Hot Wheels cars, I don't actually have any fun facts about the Chevy Love. You might be wondering why I'm doing two vehicles in one video as opposed to checking out the vehicles individually. And I'm gonna say something controversial. I think the Chevy Love's a little bit boring. In real life, this car, work of art. Absolutely insane car. In terms of Forza Horizon 4, with all of the crazy cars that Hot Wheels has, and that have come across the Hot Wheels Legends Tour, I think they could have tossed in something a little bit cooler. How about this? The Diora 2. I'm just saying. That's a very, very famous Hot Wheels car. That's gotta be like one of the most legendary Hot Wheels cars of all time. And for some reason, it's not in here. After I just complained about the Chevy Love being in this game, it turns out the Chevy Love, with some actual good driving skill, very, very good vehicle, actually. Oh, we've actually got three engine swaps. Okay, so we've got our 400 horsepower V8, big V8 engine, actually. We've got a 6.2 liter V8, 8.4 liter Viper V10, and the 7.2 liter V8. Let's crank it up. S1 race car. How hard could it be? Oh, all wheel drive and the 7.2 liter engine. We're A class perfectly. We twin turbo it. Oh, we've actually got engine spacers for one of the Hot Wheels cars. Finally. No, don't tell me that this thing is gonna be the same thing as that 2-Jet Z. We have no options to add a front splitter or a rear wing to this vehicle. We are about to be a very, very slidey boy. We've got rally suspension and drift suspension. We unfortunately don't even have weight reduction on this thing, so the lightest it's gonna be is 2,800 pounds, but we do have a rump after all of our upgrades, over a thousand horsepower, less than 3,000 pounds. I like it. We've got advanced painting option for the Chevy Love. So group number one is that. Paint group no- No. But we kind of have interior customization. No way. Okay. Chevy Love- you have redeemed yourself just like that. Call me crazy, but I kind of like the idea of like a color shift paint for a car from like back in the day like this. I don't know. I feel like that's pretty cool. And then though, we've got to get a really, really cool dash. We could go with a carbon fiber dash, but that's a little bit boring if you ask me. That's actually really, really cool. Wooden dash. It, it's something you don't see every day. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, no way. I'm racing another Chevy Love. So let's see. Does this thing have what it takes with a little bit of Forza customization to actually be a viable race car? Oh, wait. Yes, for the flex. I mean, it slides a little bit, but when you've got over a thousand horsepower, you kind of expect that, but it doesn't understeer anywhere as much as I expected it to. It's actually pretty good through the corners. We could actually get P1 here. Up, up we go. 
up the inside, Mr. Chevy Love. Yo, those brakes work so nicely. Oh, that's so sick. It's like a race car that you can actually have fun with. Well played, Chevy Love. Well played. Oh my God. <laughs> Chevy Love, I doubted you. You nailed it. S1 class. Super fun. I said that I was gonna do one build and I kind of lied, okay? Just your normal Chevy pickup truck with the engine in the back. Putting the engine in the back means you can do some pretty cool things. Anyways, Chevy love, very cool vehicle. And this is also a little bit of a feat of engineering and you will see why. This is the definition of a Frankenstein car. For example, just... Just come to the front and explode the car. Pop up headlights on one side because you love to live the ultimate flex, but on the other side, you do like to see where you're going. I do apologize if you have OCD. This car is probably gonna trigger you as we drive it around. Whoa, whoa, that turn in. We might all look at this car and point and laugh, but I think it's another amazing showcase for real life engineering. As this is an AR-12 video, I wouldn't feel fair if I didn't have a fun fact about this thing. So Studebaker, the people who made this car back in the 19, 1950s, Studebaker, if I'm correct, is one of, if not the oldest car manuf car manufacturer in Forza Horizon 4. I'm not even joking, back in the day, these were the guys who built the carriages that horses towed around. And then, being the forward-thinking company that they are, transitioned into making cars. However, those weren't as popular. And when car companies were blowing up in popularity, Studebaker actually went bust. We're just gonna gloss over that race, okay? It didn't go very well, but hopefully we can turn the Franken car into even more of a Franken car with some customization and we can maybe win a race. I don't know. Don't, Twitch chat, what should we build? Twitch chat wants me to turn the Franken car into a drift car? Really? I see a big, big problem with that in the fact that this car is a very short wheelbase and I'm gonna spin out. We've got a 6.2 liter V8 and a Dodge Viper V10. All right, we will go with the V10. All wheel drive, not a chance. Since we're building a drift car supercharger, we are gonna make this thing legit. Ooh, and we can even toss on a rear wing. Okay, since we're a drift car, it doesn't really matter. We might as well toss it on. Why don't I embrace that? Uh, uh guys, I don't know if you know how brakes work, but that's not how brakes work. I guess we'll go with those. We're gonna be able to stop very, very quickly. We will upgrade our rim size. We've got drift suspension already on this. I like the roll cage. Franken car, we go again. After all of our upgrades, we've got our V10 engine up to 1,100 horsepower. We weigh three and a half thousand pounds, but I think we should be able to slide around pretty nicely. I think this is the perfect paint job for this vehicle. Let's give this thing a go. The Franken 1000 horsepower drift car. Maybe this one won't be such a bad drift zone for us. Honestly, I was expecting to be spinning out way more than I am because of how short that wheelbase is, but it's not actually that bad. No points there whatsoever but it definitely can drift. However, let's go. And go oh, little Studebaker. Your people never did this in the 1930s, but that is a 720 entry into the corner. Sebastian Vettel, that is how you do a spin. With all of that being said, that is all six of the brand new Hot Wheels Legends 
cars for the new car pack. Don't forget, next week we have the Shelby 1000, the most powerful Mustang ever made.